There's a number of colours that you have never seen before on TV. You think you've seen London on TV shows, you've never really seen the red of a London bus correctly. Or the green of a freeway sign in California. You think you've seen them, but you've never seen the actual color that is in reality. So if you think back over the history of TV, we move from black and white to color, we move from standard to high definition. HDR is that sort of change. HDR stands for high dynamic range. You're raising the highest bright point and you're lowering the darkest dark point. And new colors are also becoming available. And the more we have, the more it'll look like the real world. Cameras capture a lot of dynamic range, a lot of detail. The question is how do we get it to you? None of the current delivery techniques will work. This represents actually a massive challenge for content distributors. Do I move to HDR and then I have to replicate all my infrastructure or do I stick with the standard dynamic range and those new TVs I can't signal? Technicolor has developed a way that when we transition to HDR, we can send one signal to every home. That one signal can then be received as both standard dynamic range and high dynamic range. And it's a crucial part of making HDR a seamless transition. This innovation is helping enable the transition to HDR to happen much quicker. It looks like looking through a window. It should do. It looks like reality. In the theater, at home, you'll see new expressions of creative vision. It's like putting glasses on when you've not been able to see before. It's going to be a very interesting time.